You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have uh, uh, someone who's become a familiar face, uh, host of our NAACP Forum, uh, Chairman of the Diversity Commission, Tony Branch. Thank you for having me. Tony, we're going to try in nine minutes okay. to kind of encapsulate what you've done the past couple of months yep. with your newly reconstituted Brockton Diversity Commission. What's happening? Uh, you, you guys have met more times, yes. I guess, in three months than yep. some boards meet in a year. We are um, a very active commission, uh, clearly, because there are a lot of uh, issues with respect to inequality in the city of Brockton. Uh, just to take a step back, our role is an advisory role. We have no staff, but we are to advise uh, not only the mayor but the city council with respect to uh, program, programmatic changes that need to happen in city government in order for it to be more inclusive. Uh, what we have found out as, as we've gone by the last couple of weeks, uh, even recently, but like you said, we've been meeting often, is that people are complaining regarding uh, the workforce in the city of Brockton. They feel that city government is not reflective of uh, the community at large. Now, that's true. So you walk into City Hall, it doesn't look like it reflects community, but for us as a professional group, we really need to look at data. And quite frankly, we've began a process at looking at uh, the Brockton School Department and the Brockton Police Department. Uh, with respect to the Brockton School Department, still receiving the same sort of issues, does central office reflect the diversity of the cities? Both our teaching group, professional, non-professional groups uh, at the uh, Brockton Public Schools, are they reflecting the city as a whole? So we actually have are committed by way of resolution that we approved, sending a letter to the superintendent just to begin the process of looking at data. I'm a data guy. Mm -hmm. um, I think that uh, people, you know, they make their comments, but in order for us really to uh, make some decisions on how we need to move forward, we really need to do some analytics, if that's making any sense. We, we, and not to cut you off, but even with respect to the Brockton Police Department, there is an issue around making sure that we can do something. And you have some data on that already. Yeah. I saw something yeah. that was published in the paper. And, and it was posted on the right. Hub and Facebook. So we, we made available, uh, mm -hmm. I know Ollie did a presentation, some of the data that we had received with respect to the Brockton Police Department. Um, we are way underrepresented. Uh, in fact, I believe out of 36, uh, 36 superior officers uh, within the Brockton Police, that they do a great job. We have one position, and that's Sergeant Perez, and I believe her position is a temporary position. So what we're probably going to be looking at once we get all the data is to really to build a partnership with all the principals involved, the chief of police, the superintendent of Brockton Public Schools, and as well as building a relationship with even uh, the unions around this because this uh, it, it involves collective bargaining clearly. Uh, but more importantly, more importantly, with respect to Brockton Police, there will probably need to be a city ordinance change that will allow us to do a ratio change of total number of police officers mm -hmm. that should be supervised by a sergeant. Um, so again, I think this is about partnership, and I think that we will do well in the months to come. I think that it requires, again, looking at the data and for folks to take a deep breath. Um, discussions of inequality are tough discussions. Um, I've had them in private sector, in my private sector life, and they can be pretty tough. But I, what I love about Brockton is we say we're the city of champions because we are. Uh, but what I also love about Brockton, at the end of the day, we are all stitched together as family. Mm -hmm. So we do this as family. I think that we'll be able to make some changes. Let me ask you a question. I was looking on um, Facebook, and there's a sheriff in, I think it's Suffolk County. Is it Tompkins in Suffolk yeah, County? Yeah, Steve Tompkins. And I very saw well. that he was hosting mm -hmm. as the sheriff. Mm -hmm a discussion about race and diversity. Is that something you guys are thinking about, forums or community discussions? Because I've heard it mentioned in Brockton for years, right? but I've never seen it done, for years. Right. It was done when I first came back to work in Brockton 20 plus years ago. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it done since. If you look at this mayor, the police force, right. the new hires, is all about diversity, Right. okay? The boards and commissions, lately are all about diversity. Right. Those, the, the police officers are paid, the commissions aren't, most mm -hmm. of the commissions are unpaid, mm -hmm. or, or boards and commissions. Right. Um, but some of the stuff you're talking about, are you gonna have the community 
come out and have a conversation? Very good question. Thank you for the question, Mark. We actually are. We are hoping to do this by September, mm -hmm. uh, looking at, and I mean, typically it's called in our business race relations. You know, I think it should be a, a meeting of, about inclusiveness in the city and how we move forward. But we are uh, committed to doing that. We had talked about do, doing it in segments or doing it all at once uh, at one of the elementary schools, just to have people come in and have a very open conversation. But again, Sometimes when you have an open conversation, it's difficult. But one of the things that I've tried to, uh, to do uh, in the last two years in Brockton is mm -hmm. really talk about the best of Brockton. I think that we talk about the crime, we talk about some of the negatives. But we have to say, as Brocktonians, that this is an exceptional community. And we can do anything if we'll become one. You're right, you're right. Now, watching what the city planner just did, with those downtown strategy sessions, yes. he went to four schools yes. and the senior center, and then he, I guess they're doing one with youth too. Yes. When we had the cable hearings years ago when we got the relicensing, mm. Mayor Units was the mayor, we had four public hearings at the four schools. So what you're talking about is good. The other yes. thing I'll throw out on the table for you, you can discuss it, I'm not trying to surprise you, but you could do one here. This is that not a nice. big room, but we do have capacity. We can, fire code would probably allow 50 or 60 people to that come here and we can do it on TV. The only problem with TV, and I'll be honest with you, I love it on TV because mm -hmm. it's good programming and it's good conversation. Sometimes people grandstand on TV. Right, right. So I'd maybe do the other ones first and then build it up and then bring some of the people together that have brought up the points and do it on TV. You guys that are a government commission, yes. so we have a government channel. Oh, thank you. I didn't so realize that's you, the you can do your own pro, You can do your own programming Wonderful. Well. So We didn't know that. Well, And I, so some of the commissioners that are listening, that's very, very... And I know wonderful. you have people on your commission that are not the least bit shy no, to be you. on TV. They're, they are not. At, at all. Not. And uh, if you want us... Uh, GAR room is a little hard to cover things in, but we would be willing to provide coverage of some of the meetings as well. We appreciate that, Mark. Thank so, you for that. Just that, let us know. Uh, that's, oh, that welcoming... Now well, that I know that that's available. I think it's important. Yeah. Um, we used to, years and years ago on cable back in the day, uh, Jerry Burke, who was the president of Massasoit Community College, used to do a show called Ethical Perspectives. And he wow. did it with all the clergy in Brockton. It was one of the most interesting shows we ever had on TV. I've been talking to the clergy association about maybe resurrecting that show. That would be No very pun intended. No, I understand. Okay. But um, Thanks for we, letting me know we're, here for we're here yeah. for community. We're part of the community just like you're talking about in, in, in focusing, accentuating the positive right. versus Brockton sometimes gives itself a black eye. And, and, and Mark, honestly, that's what my concern, my concern has been. I think that often we, we kind of slap each other around. We don't have to. I think this is really a great city and we have to look at it. I mean, when we talk about our house, we don't say that's our ugly house. We say that's our home. What I'm saying to Brockton residents, this is your home. Let's promote it. Your meetings, when do you guys meet? We, we're next meeting August 28th, okay. Thursday, GAR. I believe it's the 28th. This, can I look at my phone? You sure can. Um, or, I just need the Thursday. I think it's. I think it's the 25th, though. The I 25th, talking, right? I apologize. Because the only reason meetings. I know that is the day after my birthday. Oh, so, okay. okay. August 25th. August 25th. Yes, and you apologize. usually meet two times a month on we Thursday have been, nights. Two times a month we have been meeting... Um, uh, Thursday evenings in GA are 7 to 9. Sometimes we even go over because, remember, we are seeking a lot of public input, and a lot of the public has been showing out. So our meetings have been, um, uh, they, we've, our census has been pretty high. So if you want to come on out, we, we welcome people to come out and have an open discussion and tell us what their concerns are. Well, you come back for an update, and what we'll do is this, we just scratch the surface in nine minutes, so maybe we'll do a whole half an hour. I appreciate you for that. Okay. Thank you very much, Thanks for Mark. being on. Thank you. God Thanks bless. Thanks for doing what you're doing. God bless Thank you. Thank you. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.